I just recently read an interview with American political theorist Wendy Brown in the Spanish daily El País about her new book, Nihilistic Times. In it, she argues that the fundamental and background crisis of the age, ideologically speaking, is one of nihilism, which she sees as receiving particular expression on the right through the politics of neoliberalism, about which she has spoken and written so eloquently. For Brown, nihilism is this kind of overbearing, overarching problem that leaks into all our politics. While I was reading this, I was quite struck by how different my own sense of what is actually happening politically is. As I argue in my new book, Lost in Ideology, I don't think our problem is at all an absence of meaning. I mean, maybe in some narrow cases, take like mass shootings or something like this, there might be some use in the language of nihilism. But I actually think our problem is an abundance of meaning, as I say in Lost in Ideology. We have too many meanings. Brown sees on the right conceptions of freedom, um, ab absolute notions of power in the executive as somehow expressive of nihilism, whereas I see them as expressive of more meanings. And really the problem we have is not nihilism per se, but a kind of abundance of meanings. As part of this, I think that uh, Brown rightly calls out the left today as not having enough of a positive vision. And she says that the left needs to stop kind of doing mostly critical work and being reactive is her word, just being reactive against the right and instead offer a positive vision. Yet I couldn't help but notice that there's quite this irony that at the same time that Brown is making this call, she's basically critically and reactively describing the right as nihilistic in language that doesn't fit its own self-understanding. Whatever we think of the new right, and I've certainly made some criticisms of it, I don't think that nihilism captures its own situation culturally, politically. Instead, I think our problem is that we have rival meanings that are almost excessive from left to right, top to bottom. That having been said, uh, Wendy Brown is always very articulate. Full disclosure, I, when I was a PhD student, PhD student at Berkeley in political theory, I took a number of seminars with her, and she's always worth reading, and so uh, this interview is no different.